Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be driving the Grizzly 3500 on console. But not just that, we're actually going to be pushing the limits of what console mods are capable of today because we are on an Xbox Series X and we have quite a few mods enabled. Now, this, if you guys are unfamiliar, is the Grizzly 3500 by Dubs, and it is quite obviously based on a single cab second gen Dodge. Now, the cool thing about this truck is that you can set it up to be a stock style rig like this you can set it up for towing you can set it up for crawling both in single rear wheel and dually configurations and the interior is also absolutely gorgeous and super realistic so for you second gen dodge fans out there especially for you single cab fans out there y'all are going to really enjoy this truck you have working mirrors you have like literally you even have like the dome lights and the visors modeled in pretty much everything that would be in a second gen interior down to like the text on on like you know the cargo dome light controls and like the fog light controls the AC controls it's all like the cruise control it's all modeled it's all textured and it's all there now without any further ado let's go ahead and fire this thing up then we'll get it inside build it customize it and then we'll get some other rigs together that we plan on towing with this thing but I'm gonna let you guys listen to it It sounds so good, so incredibly good, and I'm sure that some of you guys have heard this thing before, uh, especially in some of the videos that I've done with it on PC, but here on console, it's just like super satisfying to have it. Now, we're going to put the OP tune in it, and then we're going to put the hauling 8-speed in it. Then from there, we're going to do the 6-inch uh, hauling-focused lift. Then after that, we're going to throw a set of fairly capable dualies on this thing. And then, of course, we'll add the dually fenders into the build so we can ha actually have this thing properly set and ready to go for hauling duty. Now, let's see. 44s? Yeah. 44 crawler duels. And those are obviously based on BFGs. And we're going to do the Hoss Winch, Power Lockers, and let's see, Gooseneck Hitch. Which, by the way, if you guys do not have the Gooseneck Hitch in your menu, make sure you have a Red's Gooseneck Pack installed, the IR Gooseneck Pack. That is how you will get the Gooseneck Hitch in the bed. Let's do the RA Front Bumper, RA Rear Bumper. And we'll do the Drop Hitch as well, just in case. And let's see, we'll do the Gas Cans, Dubs Box... And bed add-ons, uh, dually fenders for sure. We'll do the stacks, absolutely. Cab lights, because they look sick. Um, this one won't get a snorkel, but our other one probably will. Um, you can go for a flatbed look if you want. This one's going to be a box bed. And let's see, you have separate uh, flatbed add-ons as well. Then we're going to go with the tinted front windows halfway rolled down. We only really get chrome factory dual wheels on this one, but that's completely fine because they look perfect with this kind of a setup. Oh, dude, look at how, like, look at how good these colors look. I mean, they really do look really, really well textured. They look really vibrant. They look like the saturation is exactly where it should be. And, oh, that dark red, though. The uh, the hauler may be red, but the other one's not going to be red. Rest assured, Beans is going on the dash, and now it's time to hook a trailer up to it. Definitely going to get the six-unit uh, six gooseneck behind it because I feel like we're going to need the big boy. There we go. All right. Big boy gooseneck installed. And here's where we start to push the limits of things a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and lower the ramps. And then we're going to shut this thing down. Actually, while the ramps are still lowering. Not the not the gas station. Bruh. All right. Now, truck store. Now, some of these builds are going to go uh, fairly quick. Uh, this one, the Don Race Mega Truck, we're not even going to really touch it because, as you can see, uh, there's really not much you can change. I mean, the tires you can change. But the way that, it, the way that he literally, like, gives it to you right out of the box is absolutely sick looking. And this thing is one of the best rigs to take to a map like this if you want, like, a really fun yet realism-focused mud truck experience. Let's go ahead and throw you up there on the trailer. We'll put this guy up front. Shut it down. Now it's time to build another second gen for mud purposes, off-road purposes, and things like that. This one is definitely getting the 8-inch lift kit, and it's going to get the OP engine tune, of course. For this one, we're probably going to do... 
I'm going back and forth. Potentially the potentially the off-road transmission, but I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Does the other one have like all the low ranges? Because if it has all the low ranges on that eight-speed hauling trans. Ooh, yeah, that, that might be the one to do if we plan on throwing this thing into the mud, but we still want high range. Let's do that. So Gearbox is actually going to be, I'm going to try the hauling one. I've never tried this combo before, but it might work. It genuinely might work. I'm not entirely sure, but why not give it a try? Now, these aggro T1s are what we are going to be throwing on this thing, but uh, yeah, we're going to be throwing them on there in... Probably one of the biggest sizes we can find. Now, I don't know if they go bigger than 46. Let's see. if Is this just duels? Or let me make it to the bottom and make sure. You could have... Actually, we could have done 46-inch duels, but... Oh, dude. Or we could do dually aggro mud I tell you what. We'll just do the 46-inch singles on this one because I want to see what it's like with that. Now, let's see. Just the RA front and rear bumpers on this one. N like, no hitches, nothing like that. And this one I might actually... Ooh, I know what I'm going to do on this one. This one will be our um, our flatbed conversion. So, let's go to the flatbed. And then this one's going to get the gas cans and the flatbed box... That way, it's kind of at the right height and everything. And then, we're going to... Let's see. Uh, we're going to take the windows out. So, this one is just going to have the windows down. Uh, let's see. M-Class Agro T1. It was, like, actually an interesting, like, a method race wheel kind of looking uh, design. So, I think this one we might paint it either... I'm thinking orange or I'm thinking green. Let's go with... Or blue. Because blue looks sick as well on this thing. Uh, let's see. Beans on the dash. Now, our mud truck flatbed is ready. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna rip, like with the hauling trans and no load behind it, it's gonna absolutely freaking rip, dude. This is, this is a wild setup, like it really is an absolutely insane setup. And, park it right there, Oh, I was trying to get it close enough without like actually touching the back of the other truck, but that's about as close as I feel like we're gonna get. Now, we're going to get a little bit tricky here with this next one. So, I want to grab Lime's Cat Eye for this because I know we could fit one, but I'm going to put a small set of mud tires on it, and there's a reason for that. Now, the reasoning behind that is so that I can actually pull it up to uh, one of the one of the loading ramps and load a load a quad into the bed. So let's see how this goes. Let me go ahead and get like a small like T1 tire. Nothing too crazy. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Not a cut bogger, a T1. There we go. Like a 43 inch T1 tire. And that's going to be honestly, I think that's going to be about it. Let's throw the, do we have a front bumper option? Where's my front bumper option? Bruh. Where's, oh my god, where's my front bumper option? Hood, um, you, might as well, stock hood, why not? And exhaust, we'll do the swank tip on this one, there we go. We'll do the, um, icy front bumper. And then the wheels, I mean, you pretty much only get a couple of options with this one. And then this is gonna get one of Lime's signature colors, that ultra bright lime green, with of course, beans on the dash. Now, we're getting a little bit closer to getting our fleet ready here. And let me see if I can get this thing up to the back of the ramp. And first of all, if that works and we can get the quad in the bed, then I'll load everything onto the trailer and then we'll go from there. That looks close enough, right? Close enough in my opinion. Hey, if it's close enough and it works, then it works. All right, back into the garage now. And our final step in preparing everything is going to be to grab the Lander 1000, throw the tuned engine in it, and we will do the, let's see, the off-road transmission. Uh, no, not the lift kit, the active. There we go. I was like, I was like, bro, I don't want the dedicated lift. I want the actual active suspension. Okay, let's see. K E X or let's see. Mm, mud tire and mud tire alone. Well, I mean, technically, we're on a mud map right now, so that's gonna be that's gonna be the move, I think. Let's see. Front bumper, cargo racks, rear bumper. And I'm not really gonna mess with the uh, the colors at all, because I really want to get this thing into the back of the truck. We'll get you up into the bed of the Chevy. I seriously hope it can fit. Because guess what? I didn't test this. Aha! Oh, no! Oh, God. Forgot that was a... Yeah, forgot that was an issue. Um, 
That's a, wow, that, well, actually, you know what? At least it's not like in the ground. I should have put the towing suspension on it. I should have put the towing suspension on it. This was a mistake. Well, maybe not entirely a mistake. We'll get you up onto the trailer and then we'll go from here. I just can't believe that we're running this entire combo on a console right now. That is like absolutely just mad levels of wild right there. Okay, so I don't really think we could load any more on this trailer if we tried. Pack trucks and trailers, did everything pack? Yes, sir, it did. We're good to go there. Let me see if the ramps come up. That's that's also gonna be another, uh... oh, come on. Thank you. Well, they went up as far as they were gonna be able to go. Now let's set off for the mud pit. Oh God. Oh, this is a, wow. Hey, for the most part, it's keeping the front end down. This is nuts. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my God. And that is running on a freaking console, dude. That is so like, I don't think it gets much, like, much more next level than that in like SnowRunner terms. Uh, that's just like, <laughs> that is like too insane. Oh my God. The fact that consoles have made it to this point now, and I know I've said that before, but like, Every time I play SnowRunner on console and I look at the level of what we can run and what we can actually have and what these are capable of, especially like this game with mods, I, like if you had gone back in time and showed me this picture and been like, hey, did you know that that was on an Xbox? I would have been like, no, there's no way that was on an Xbox. Like, that's gotta be like a, a complete and total non-truth. No, it's real. It's real, all right. Now, whether or not the uh, the Chevy's suspension is doing okay remains to be seen, but we're not gonna worry about that. It's fine, it just literally, it's fine. Don't worry about it, it's all good. Yep, A-OK, -okay, all good. Now, almost there, come on. Oh God, stop searching for traction at the front axle. We would really, oh my God, all right, geez. I don't know why it's like all of a sudden now upset. Maybe it was because I was trying to counter, counter steer it back and forth. Let's see if it'll take high gear. Ah, uh, it's progressively getting slower. It's like the second you get it close to like a hill, it's like, yeah, we're not doing that. And you're going to stop. You're going to stop now. Like right now. Whoa, where are you going? Come on. Yeah, you know the thing that like you're doing with the front end? I would appreciate it if you didn't do that thing. Yeah, the thing where you're like getting properly upset. Yeah, let's not do that thing. All right, let's go. This is a little bit, a uh, little bit better of a toe test, though, than I figured, uh, than I could have done on any other map, because, you know, in the first few miles, not even miles, but, like, first hundred feet, really, of the roadway on this map, you're gonna deal with hills, you're gonna deal with up and down, and, I mean, dude, if this thing can haul all of these mud trucks and not even break a sweat, I mean, it's breaking a little bit of a sweat, but, like, nothing to the point to where I, I would call it struggling, then it can totally handle just about whatever cargo you're gonna throw at it on a campaign map. That is for sure. Come on, find your grip. Ooh. All right, little bit of a winch pull, but that's okay. Sometimes you gotta use the winch to return the front end of the ground, uh, especially if you're on like a really steep uphill. Maybe there was a front weight add-on that I missed, and I will fully admit to that if there was, but I, I didn't see something that looked like that, so I'm not entirely sure if I missed one or not, but I think at this point, I think we'll be okay. I, I genuinely think we'll be okay because we don't really have much more uphill to do, and we're also very, very close to uh, the drop-off point, so let's ease it on down around this turn. Got the hill climbs over there on the right. I love those hill climbs, by the way. Those hill climbs are wild. Especially, like, in trucks like the ones we've got here. Now, we're not stopping at that one, but we are stopping at the mud pit in just a moment. Come on, almost there. Gearbox behaves a little bit weird sometimes when it's got a lot of weight on it, but, I mean, all you have to do is you have to just, like, uh, tap the clutch, and then you'll be good to go. Nothing to worry about. There we go. Already had the gate open for us. It's like they knew we were coming. Oh boy, I still love this map. This map is like one of the true like OG mud maps in this game. It's so good. And it was one of the first maps I think to have like a monster truck backflip ramp as well. Really, really cool to see that. All right, I think we're about to where we can 
unload without issue. Let me just make sure that the, uh, the trailer ramps have some clear space, which it looks like they do. I don't think there's really any issue there. Yeah, they should be all good. All good. All right, ramps down. Unpack, shut down. All right, let's get the, um, let's get the cat eye off first. We're gonna have to unload the, uh, the four-wheeler in a moment because I feel like, well, it's in a bit of a precarious situation with the fact that it's, like, very, very, very weighed down on the, on the rear suspension of this truck. There we go. No issues there at all. Shut down. And now we can grab the other Grizzly 3500. This one, I'm sending it straight into the mud. I really want to see how this thing does in the mud because I haven't really spent much of any time at all with this truck in mud. Let's go. Sending it. Oh, what? Okay. Yo, this thing is so good. This thing is awesome. You, you throw the aggro T1 tires on this truck and it rips. Let's see how it does in the deeper stuff because this mud gets real gnarly real fast. Holy smokes! Dude, this thing is a monster! Wow, that just... Add that to the list of things that this truck can do because not only is it an amazing hauler, it's also an amazing crawler and it's legit in the mud. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have let off. Oh no, you gotta keep your momentum up if you want to keep it in high. There we go. Sixth gear, dump the clutch, and do not lift. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's digging in. Yep, it sank. Yep, there it is. Almost there. Oh, I can make it out. I'm literally right there. I can totally make it out. There it is. Not bad. And since we're here, hey, we might as well give the Don Race Mega Truck a run, too. Although, I have a little bit of a different idea for this thing. Because I feel like since it's more of a race setup... Oh, well, for one, I... Whoa! Easy! Jeez! Alright, let's bring you around to this section right here. A little bit of a rhythm section. Let's see how you do through here. Bro, this thing drives amazing. I've never actually... Fun fact, never actually driven this thing on console before. But, like, if you could imagine getting this thing into a... Oh, no! I messed it up right there at the end. Did a little bit of, like, a 180 uh, barrel roll, but uh, don't worry about that. It's fine. This thing would be awesome to, like, race with your buddies, though. Like, if you wanted to have a really, like, good mega truck race, that thing would definitely be the setup to run. But if you guys enjoyed this look at the Grizzly 3500 running on a console, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Let me know what you have been using it for. Let me know if you've been using it as a crawler, a mud truck, a, um, a modded campaign truck. Whatever the case may be, I would love to hear any and all of your thoughts and opinions down in that comment section. And if you're new around here and you would like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on and I will see y'all next time.